my name is John Hawkins. I am President Board of Directors of the Omaha Sister Cities Association. I'm very proud to introduce these folks again today. Um, the Omaha Sister Cities, Omaha has six sister cities. One of them is Shizuoka, Japan. Um, our organization, if you're interested, you can go view it on omahasistercities.com or on our Facebook page. So please, if you're interested, um, Suma Happy over there is kind of the engine of the organization. She's also here and she'll be happy to give you whatever information you would like. Um, we've had the, the Tokyo Taiko drummers perform for us before. They are wonderful. Um, yeah. I watch them every time and it's just awesome what they can do. So without further ado, Tokyo Taiko.
nice yukata, he would walk very daintily and move very daintily. Um, but this song is not a dainty song. It's called Yatai and it's performed seated because they were on carts that were carried or shrines and they're portable and they walked through the town for the festival and there wasn't room to stand, so that is why it's seated. Um, so I'm just gonna straddle that thing and just know that that's not really proper Japanese yukata word <laughs> etiquette. <laughs>
<laughs> well, we ended just in time, I think. His thing was going to slide out here. <laughs> it's hot. <laughs> Maybe we should all go outside and cool down. <laughs> Anyhow, does anyone have any quick questions for us? Sometimes the audience members have really profound insights. Yes. What are they made of? Good question. The heads are made of rawhide. And these little loops here are called mimi. Can everyone say mimi? Mimi. Good. These are the ears of a drum. They put dowels, and that's what they use to tighten the heads. So they use rope and tighten, and tighten, and so tight, and then tack them in. So these two daiko, or nagare, nagado daiko, cannot be tuned or changed. You just have to change the whole head if they get bad, and they cannot get wet. Now the bodies are made of oak. And the oak is strong enough for our rim shots. Um, if you use a lighter wood and you're doing this a lot, your, your drum head will degrade. But, ooh. <laughs> ooh, I think I'm going to grab my water cream. That was a good question. Is there another question? One more? Yes, go what ahead. What would be your original dress that they would have worn? Very good. Original dress would not be this cheery, right? <laughs> Um, long ago, when these drums were used for warfare, it would be whatever um, uniform they would have at the time. And then in the temples and shrines, where they were used mainly by men, would be the uh, clothes you would see monks or people that work in the shrines. So good question. Now we are wearing colorful stuff because we've played for you at Lordson many times. We just try to change it up. Otherwise our uniform is pretty... Um, working class with a haragake, kind of a apron with many pockets to put your tools in. And we would have teko to keep long sleeves out of machinery. And um, even our footwear and our headgear is all from the working person. So great question. I saw we had one more over here. Yes, go ahead. How old is Taiko? Taiko is at least several, a couple thousand years old. The oldest example they have is of a haniwa clay figurine that was found, I think it was from the Jomo period, long ago, thousands of years ago. But they think drums actually came from probably the mainland of China or South Korea. Um, but every, every culture has drums, right? Why is that? Heartbeat, yes. Easy to make, yes. Every little kid pounds on stuff. It doesn't matter what it is, right? <laughs> so excellent questions. Our next song is called Hakai. And it means ocean waves. So I hope you can imagine that crashing on shore and just really feel the energy. Thank you.
girl. So, whew, I wanted to also let you know that I appreciate when we hear from our audience members. So please friend us on Facebook, share your thoughts about today's performance, and please share your photos and videos if you want. Actually, videos help us improve. So when we see what we look like, you know, sometimes you think you look better than you do. <laughs> so the videos pretty much tell the truth. And I remember last year seeing this last song that we had, and I thought, wow, I need to get down more. I'm too upright. You know, as you get older, your back hurts. And I had three knee surgeries and a foot surgery. You know, you just start to break down. So it's really good to have video evidence of my lost youth. <laughs> and you think that's funny, but you know that seated song that we played? I used to play that over and over. We do it like seven or eight times in a row. Now I would, I would need an ambulance. <laughs> yes. Uh, are these songs traditional? Or are they newly composed? Um, so many of them are traditional. They're from either festivals or from daily life in Japan, like pulling in fish, and that was a sideways lunging song that Deb and On did. And some are composed by some. Um, like one is by my director at my old Japanese group, so that's very dear to us. Now, one thing I want to say is, yesterday somebody came up to me and said her son yeah. is hard of hearing. I just wondered about him learning drums, and I said, wow, I need to talk about that, because in Japan this summer, um, I went to one of the old members of my group in Japan. He has, he teaches at the school for the deaf in our town. And so he has a bunch of deaf children learning drums. Now the beginners, of course, they need a lot of cues. He uses his foot a lot, his head a lot. <laughs> no, go. But um, they can feel, right? They can feel the rhythm. Um, and then his older students, the senpai, they performed a piece for me. And I'm going to cry now. <laughs> it was so incredible. It was moving. And so I'm watching them, and it was just beautiful. And I feel that power now. So, anyhow, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> so impressive to me, just the passion they played with. And also, I love getting to watch other people perform. That's one thing I really miss. I'm always performing, so I don't get to see the taiko and feel it. So I do hope you enjoy this next song, which is called Yashawaka. And it is very powerful because we are fighting and battling and beating and defeating the Oni. Oni is the bad guy in all the Japanese folk tales. He, he can be many colors. He always looks vicious. But if you know Momotaro, Peach Boy, or Kintaro, Golden Boy, you can learn about Oni and famous folk tales. So thank you so much.
cards. We perform for schools. We perform for events. And we especially thank Lourdes and Gardens and Omaha Sister Cities for having us here every year. We appreciate it. Such a beautiful venue. And we thank everyone for all the volunteer work they do to make this event possible. So thank you all.